do 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 Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Ben back from shopping. Oh, I'm back. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh. It's a bit windy out there. Ooh, I finished all the shopping. Oh, small, I found this fantastic new bread. It's all long and thin. Oh, wait till you see it. It'll knock your socks off. <laughs> Woo! Uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I think it just did blow my socks off. <laughs> and my shoes, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, small. <laughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. Better get your shoes and socks back on. OK, Ben, I'm on my way. Who's our customer today, Small? Well, he's got a black hat and a black beard. <laughs> Anything else, Small? And he's got a parrot on his shoulder. Parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, then it must be a pirate. Har! You're right, Ben. It is a pirate. Percy the pirate. I bet he's got loads of buried treasure and a pirate ship to sail the seas. Not today, though. It's probably too wet and windy to sail on the seas. We'd better make something really tasty for him, then. Good idea, Ben. What can we cook for him? Um, how about fish and ships? <laughs> fish and ships? Fish and chips, you know, like fish and chips, but fish and ships. <laughs> Pirates don't eat ships, they sail in them. What would a pirate like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. Pirates. Pirates. Oh, yes, I remember. One day I went to a desert island. I was feeling a bit lost all by myself on the beach. But I wasn't worried, because I'm quite good at finding my way about. You have to be when you're as little as me. So I looked around to see what I could see. I could see pebbles, a crab, some shells, palm trees, and the sea. And I could see something else. Big footprints! And do you know who they belong to? Someone with big feet. So I followed the big footprints all the way along the beach, and I found Percy the pirate and a parrot on his shoulder, which was nearly as big as me. And both of them were looking very sad. I'm supposed to be finding the treasure, said Percy the pirate. The other pirates sent me from the pirate ship to find the treasure, but I can't find it anywhere. Where is it supposed to be? I asked him. I've been given a treasure map, and the treasure is marked by a cross, but I can't work out where it is on the beach. Percy the pirate showed me the treasure map. On the map there were some pictures and a big cross. Now, as I said, I'm quite good at finding my way about, and I worked out where the treasure would be. First, we had to find two trees, then a river, and the treasure would be marked with a cross. So we found the trees, and the river, and then we found the treasure. We dug up the treasure, and Percy the pirate and his parrot were so happy, we danced the night away until it was time for the pirate to go back to his ship. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ha ha! That were a mighty fine story there, shipmate Little Cook Small. Ha ha! Buried treasure. Way! Or should I say, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's any buried treasure in our garden, Small. Oh, can we go digging for it? Oh. Not now. It's still raining, Small. We'd better wait till later. Oh, never mind, Ben. Let's think about what we can cook for Percy the Pirate. Well, we know what pirates really like. Treasure! <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat treasure, Ben. You're right, Small. Hmm, try again. What to cook for a pirate? Hmm. <gasps> Ooh! Oh. <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the 
big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Oh, yes, here it is. The very thing for a pirate's lunch. Pirate's gold. Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant. Percy the pirate will love it. It looks just like a treasure chest. Come on, Small. Let's get cooking. What does it say we need? OK, let's see. We're going to need cheese. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. Cheese, yep, yeah, got that, Small. An egg. Egg. One egg. Got the egg. Plain flour. Flour in the cupboard. Here we go. Plain flour, yep. Yeah. A baguette. Oh, one tasty baguette. Yes. And tin sweet corn. Right, um, there we go. Tin sweet corn. Got that as well. Brilliant. Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Ben, what turns the nuggets golden? Ah, well, that's the most important ingredient, Small. The sweet corn. It's yellow. And yellow sweet corn will make the golden treasure. Sweet corn? Where does it come from? From this tin. <laughs> no, I mean before it goes into the tin, Ben. <laughs> oh, well, um, I don't know. But why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook? That's a great idea. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? <laughs> go small, go small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. Here we are. What a beautiful day. These plants are really tall. They're called corn on the cob. Sweet corn grows inside those green leaves. This farmer is going to pick the sweet corn. First of all, he has to check that the sweet corn inside the leaves is ripe and ready to pick. This one isn't ready. This one isn't ready either. Oh, it's like a jungle. Here's some more corn on the cob. Is it ripe? Yes, it's ripe and ready to pick. If you peel back the leaves, you can see the sweet corn. That's called a kernel of corn. Sweet corn is bright yellow and tastes delicious. It's the colour of pirate's gold. I'd better get back to the cafe. See you later. Golden treasure. Oh, ho. lovely golden sweet corn treasure, that is. <laughs> I've hidden a little bit of sweet corn treasure for me old matey little cook small to find under his cup. Shh. Hey! I'm back! Then you'll never guess, corn grows on big plants as tall as you. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's cooked, sweet corn can be eaten on the cob or off the cob as little golden nuggety pieces, like in our tin. <laughs> Talking of golden nuggety pieces, Small, I've hidden a little bit of golden treasure for you to find me, Hearty. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Treasure. <laughs> but that's for later. we better get on with the recipe now, Small. Our pirate customer will be getting very hungry. So, we're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a 
treats You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Pirate's Gold? You do? There was cheese, half a cup, egg, one, plain flour, two tablespoons, a baguette, a quarter, and tin sweet corn, half a cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Gas mark six. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can get on with the recipe. So, I've cut this piece of baguette in half, but not all the way through. That's a job for your grown-up helper to do. This is going to be our treasure chest. So, we're going to start hollowing out our treasure chest by taking the bread away and pop it into a bowl. And I'll do this piece at the top. There we are. That should give enough space for our golden nuggety pieces. There. So the next thing we want to do is start to crumble down these pieces of bread. Make them a little bit smaller. OK. Let's get them all done. Just break them up. Wow! And now we can add the egg. In it goes. There we are, that's the egg. And we're going to mix the cheese and the sweet corn all together in a bowl with a wooden spoon. Let's give it a good old mix up there. Be careful with the mixing, Ben. Of course, Maul. <laughs> you know what happens when you start mixing. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you get all excited. <laughs> <laughs> and a big blob of mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Splatters all over me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Small? You've got gunk all over you. <laughs> I think I'd better go and clean myself up. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Small. <laughs> Good idea. Right. Now, this next bit can get a little bit sticky. What I'm going to do is add the flour to the mixture. This will help it to go a bit more solid. And I'll give it a quick stir with the spoon. Round and round we go. And then... With my nice clean hands, I'm going to give it another mix. So, I'll put a little bit more flour onto the board and a little bit onto my fingers to stop the mixture sticking to me. There we go. And in we are. Right, we're going to roll the mixture into little balls, like that. There we are. And I'll pop it onto the board and give it another roll around in the flour to give it an extra floury coating. There we go. And then we can pop it onto a greased baking tray. That's one done. I'll just make a few more. So roll it round. It's a little bit sticky to start with. There, all cleaned up. Aha, me hearties. Do you remember Captain Ben hid some treasure for me to find? Can you help me find it? Over here? No. Is it over here? No. There. That's the last of the golden nuggets, so all we need to do now is pop them in the oven. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to pop them in the oven for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And into the oven they go. For ten minutes. Or set the timer for ten minutes. Tell me if I'm close to the buried treasure. Say warm if I'm close and cold if I'm far away. Huh? Cold. Warm, eh? There. The nuggets have cooked and cooled now. Ooh, lovely and golden brown. 
cold, eh? I'll try over here. Warm. Warmer still. I wonder if my treasure's under my cup. <whistles> Yippee! Oh, thank you. My sweet corn treasure. Brilliant! Ho <laughs> ho Well done, Small. Right, now it's time for me to put these into the treasure chest. Now, I've already put some lettuce and tomato in as dressing, and I'm going to pile in the golden nuggets. Two, three, four, and five. There! When we close the lid, it looks just like a real treasure chest. Oh, that looks brilliant, and it smells delicious. Yes, it does. Here we go. Pirate's gold coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Ha-ha! Here comes the plate! Ho-ho-ho! It looks like Percy enjoyed his pirate's gold! And look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, <clears throat> Dear Big Cut Ben and Little Cock Small, That were the tastiest pirate's gold I ever did nibble on! <laughs> Thank ye, landlubbers! Here's a little something for ye. It's from me very own treasure chest. Small! Look! It's real pirate's gold! Our very own treasure! <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! <laughs> Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone! Oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just giving our cactus plants a little drink. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you have to be very careful with cactus plants as they're very prickly. And lots of cactus plants grow in the desert where it's very, very hot. Phew, a great big sun, no clouds in the sky. No one about except my cactus and I. <laughs> And me! Hoo-hoo! I'm here too, partner! Hello, everyone! What are you doing, Ben? Ho-ho! I'm a cowboy, Small. Cowboys sometimes ride around in the desert. Do they? Oh, yes, partner! Why do you keep calling me partner? <laughs> Cowboys do that too, Small. They say, uh, how you doing, partner? And pass the beans, partner? And things like that. Oh, I want to be a cowboy too. Can I be a cowboy? Partner? You surely can, partner. Just hop on your horse, like this, and ride around like me. Yee-haw! Yippee-yay! Yippee-yay! Woo-hoo! <laughs> oh Why have you stopped? Cowboy hat small. We can't be proper cowboys unless we've got cowboy hats. You're right, Ben. <laughs> oh, we can't worry about that now, small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way, partner. Who's our customer today, partner? She's got a check shirt, jeans, and a horse outside. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Casey the cowgirl. Well done, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. 
Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. I was at the Big Cowboy Show with my friend Casey the Cowgirl and her horse Star. She was going to enter a competition to round up some buffalo. We were really excited. But then something happened. Oh dear! One of Star's shoes has fallen off. I can't let Star into the competition without his horseshoe. Then I had an idea. Come with me. And we hurried off to see my friend the blacksmith. A blacksmith is someone who fits iron shoes on horses' hooves to stop their feet getting hurt. Don't worry, Casey, he said. I'll make a new one. Soon he had the fire going and was hammering away until he'd made a lovely shiny new horseshoe. We had to stand in a safe place as the fire was hot, hot, hot. <laughs> the blacksmith soon fitted the new horseshoe, but we didn't know what to do with the old one. Then I had a brilliant idea. Horseshoes are supposed to bring good luck. So I fixed the old one to Star's saddle. Casey was really pleased. Then off we went to the competition. We were just in time. Yee-haw! yelled Casey. And Star ran like the wind. I really had to hang on. Casey was so good at rounding up the buffalo that she won the competition. Whoopee! That horseshoe really must have been lucky. Three cheers for Casey, yelled the judges. And they gave her a prize, a lovely star badge to wear on her hat. And three cheers for Star, the fastest horse in the West. And don't forget, three cheers for Little Cook Small and his lucky horseshoe. Little Cook to the rescue once again. <laughs> That was a great adventure. Wow! Fancy rounding up all those buffalo. Casey is a clever cowgirl. Way! And Star's a very fast horse. And the lucky horseshoe was a great idea too. I wish we had that lucky horseshoe right now. Why? Because it might help us think of what to cook for Casey. Hmm. Ooh. I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. <coughs> Here we are. Star Bean Burger. Made with buffalo cheese. Ooh, just the thing after a hard day herding buffaloes, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw, partner. Oh, perfect. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion, over we go. Got the onion small. Garlic. Garlic, yep, that's here as well. Got it. Carrot. Over here, yep, carrots. Kidney beans. Kidney beans, got those, yep. Curry powder. In the cupboard as well. Lovely curry powder, yep. Oil. Here we go, got the oil small. Flour. Oh, that's here as well, in the cupboard. Got the flour, yep. Cherry tomatoes. Lovely red juicy cherry tomatoes. Got them. And buffalo mozzarella cheese. Eh? Buffalo Ooh. mozzarella cheese. Well, here we are. There's everything else for the recipe. Now, I've heard of buffaloes and I've heard of cheese, but I've never heard of buffalo mozzarella cheese. Well, why don't I whiz off and get some and find out how it's made? I think you better add, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoop. Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, this is beautiful! Hello there! Look at those horns! These animals are called buffaloes. And they're off to the milking parlour to be milked. This is the milking parlour. And this is the farmer. He's attaching some suction pipes to the buffalo's udders. The milk is sucked from the buffalo and collected. 
It's going to be used to make a cheese called mozzarella. The farmer adds an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Look! The milk has turned into curds and whey. The whey is the runny stuff and we don't need that. The curd is the lumpy bits. We use the curd to make the cheese. <laughs> Look at the curd! It's turned all stringy and stretchy. The curd has turned into cheese. It's a soft white cheese. It's called mozzarella. The cheese is divided into small ball-shaped pieces and stored in some water until it's packed. Now the cheese is packed and weighed and ready to go to the shops. That was great! See you later! Hey, steady there, boy. <laughs> Yeah! Hey, I'm back. Hello there, Small. Did you get the cheese? Oh, yes. And here it is. <coughs> Woo! Hey, that's great. Buffalo cheese is made from buffalo's milk. And buffaloes are really big with big horns. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that sounds great, little cook. But we better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Star Bean Burger? You do? There was onion, one, chopped. Garlic, one clove, chopped. Carrot, one, finely grated. Kidney beans, 225 gram tin, drained. Curry powder, one teaspoon. Oil, two tablespoons. Flour, two tablespoons. Cherry tomatoes, one, cut in half. And buffalo mozzarella cheese, two slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! I'm going to turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can start on our bean burgers. So the first thing we need to do is mash up the kidney beans. You can do that for me, Small, while I fry the onions. Hey! Mashing, smashing! You can mash with a masher or a fork. I'm going to use a fork. Woohoo! Mash, mash, mash! Hey, hey, smashing, mashing, small. Now I've started to heat the oil in a frying pan and I'm going to add the onions and the garlic and fry them for a couple of minutes. And this is another grown-up helper job. Are those beans ready yet, small? Yep, partner. Hey, hey, thank you, partner. Wow, a very good job. Mmm, the smell of frying onions. It makes me think about being a cowboy, sitting around the campfire and waiting for my dinner. Into the pan goes the carrot, the mashed up bean. Oh, quite sticky. Let's get it all in. There we are. The curry powder and the flour. And give it all a good old stir. Stir and stir and stir. 
until it's all mixed up together. Now we have to let this cool down before the next bit, so pop it there, turn off the heat, and now I'm going to make a cowboy hat. Hey! So to do this, you need a plain piece of paper or card. Fold it in half, like this, and then draw the shape of half a cowboy hat, like this. Hey, hey! I wish I had a cowboy hat. Oh, me too small. Now, we can cut out the shape. Yee-haw! We go and open it. That's brilliant! A proper cowboy's hat. But you can't wear it. No, 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 small. This is for the recipe. And just to finish it off, I'm going to draw a band across it, like this. There we go. And then I can pop it on a plate, ready for a star bean burger. Hey, I've had an idea. <laughs> what are you up to, Small? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> The mixture's cooled down now, so we can carry on with the recipe. I've placed a star-shaped cutter onto a greased baking tray, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. Like this, until the star is full. Perfect! Yee-haw! <laughs> Carefully press down with a spoon and then we can gently remove the cutter. There, a star. Now we need to pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. On there, open it up, and pop it in. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for ten minutes. There we go. Oh, it smells lovely. Yee-ha! Do you like my hat, Ben? It's great, Small. <laughs> Right, now, ask your grown-up helper to put two slices of buffalo mozzarella cheese onto your bean burger. But you can use any cheese you like. Like this. And then pop it back into the oven until the cheese has melted. So, oven gloves on. And back into the oven it goes. Yeah! Ah, I'm a cowboy and a cowboy calf. Woo! Oh, you're a good cowboy, Small. I wish I had a hat. I'll make you one, Ben, whilst the cheese melts. The cheese has melted now, and I've placed the bean burger onto the cowboy hat. And just to finish it off, I'm going to put half of the cherry tomato on there like that. And there we have it. One cowboy hat with a cowboy badge. Hey! How's my hat coming along, Small? It's ready, Ben. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Small. Ooh. <laughs> I think it's a bit too tiny for me, little cook. <laughs> oh, I so wanted my very own cowboy hat. But never mind. We better get this through to Casey. One star bean burger coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. 
tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Casey enjoyed her star bean burger. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My star bean burger was delicious. Ha ha! ha To say thank you, here's my cowboy hat for Ben. I hope it fits. From Casey the Cowgirl. Wow, Small! Look! Ho oh, ho! It's my very own cowboy hat! Yeehaw! Let's hit the trails, partners! Ho oh, ho! See you soon, partners! See you soon, partners! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yeehaw!